Hello, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Gina. And I'm Derek. And we're D&G Thrifts. D&G Thrifts. So we went to two, three thrift stores today, actually. Uh, we went to a Goodwill, we went to an Ark, and we went to a Children's, host, uh, Children's Mountain Home thrift store. A little independent. Little, it's a small little uh, store, uh, thrift store. Uh, but most of everything we got was at the Goodwill. That was the... Yeah, here, hold this. Okay. This, I can't even lift it, it's so heavy. This whole bag, including this bag, is what we brought home today. We brought home a lot of stuff. Yes. Um, everything we're going to show you is stuff we picked up today. And uh, if and we're going to be posting all this stuff, unless we bought it for ourselves. Uh, so be sure to go to our eBay channels. Uh, I am Happy Hooligan 70 and you are? Magnolia Asterix Park. But Asterix is the sign, not the name. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Just to be clear. Yeah. So why don't we uh, show some of the stuff we got today? All right. Well, should I start? I think most of it's mine, isn't pretty, it? Pretty, a lot of it's yours. All right. So I picked up this really cute Laura Ashley. This is a night shirt with matching shorts. And if you're into dogs, it has the... Is that French? What is that dog? Is that a French bulldog? French bulldog, French I French bulldog. So I got that. And then since we're looking at pajamas already, I found these. Hannah Anderson, big size, size large, cute snowflake long johns pajamas with matching pants. Good pickups. Yes, size large. So those should do pretty well. Cat trouble. <laughs> yeah, if you heard that, they are chasing each other. Here, you okay. can go next. Uh, next, I got this. Actually, I got this for me, I think. Uh, it's just a t-shirt. I've been looking for t-shirts. This is cool. It's the French uh, Alps and has a, a ski lift there uh, going up on it. Uh, that was just for me. Uh, this I picked up kind oh, of. Oh, that was for you to keep? Yeah, I think it's going to be for uh, keep. Uh, we'll see. Uh, if it doesn't fit me, I'll put it on eBay. Uh, this I picked up. Uh, this is a polo uh, button-down Oxford, but it's a really cool color and just super shaped. I don't know if these really do that great anymore, but uh, I paid five ninety-nine for it. Uh, I assume I could probably get like twenty bucks for that. Uh, I mean, it is polo and it is in just it looks almost unworn shape. So. Um, I forgot to say what I paid for mine, didn't oh. I? You well, did. Real quick. So it was five ninety nine for this set. Great price. That is a great price. That's the same price as the shirt. Yeah, and five ninety nine for this set. Two for one. Yeah. Um, and then, oh, I picked this shirt up. It's just kind of. Interesting. I like it. I want to keep it for myself. You know what? I, I, I looked them up, and I guess this is a band, this Portals. I thought it was a book series, but it's actually Portals uh, label also. Um, show, so, did you show the picture, like what, the graphic? Yeah, it's got the fairy. With a mushroom. With a mushroom. I love mushrooms. I mean, it's, it's really it's, nice. It's, yeah, and it doesn't look like it's been worn because the, the, it looks like it was just printed from the screen printer. Uh, two ninety nine for that. So um, apparently, I won't be selling that one. Well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> I might keep it. So now this. It's funny. I was going through the racks and I saw this, and I was like, "Oh yes, cats and books, books and cats." I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> I loved it." Can you see that? Yeah. Books, cats, life is good. Definitely love books and cats. And I just kept going, and then I was thinking to myself, you know what? I wonder if there's a, a value to this to this shirt. So I looked it up, and sure enough, I found one in the exact same size because this is a big, it's a XXL, and someone sold the exact same T-shirt for thirty dollars. It's a good price for a T-shirt. 
Yeah, and I paid four ninety nine. And then I saw, now it also came in a tote bag. So if you can find the tote bag of this, it goes for 50 For just the tote bag? <laughs> for, yeah, just the tote bag. Put the shirt in there, it's $80. What are you talking about? Is the tote bag sell for 50 or is it a tote bag and shirt for 50 No, just the tote bag. Just, that's great. Yeah, so so then I immediately went to the the... Tote bag purses area. and tote bag <laughs> area and then i didn't find that but i did find this this tote i'll show you the tote in a little once bit. we get it cleared out of all yeah. this stuff so yeah so yeah that's that and then i found this which i'm giving to derek to sell because i do the guy stuff he does the men's stuff mostly patagonia and this is the nano puff nano puff yeah it's a nano puff or great color and it's a men's small, and I'm going to see if my son might want it first, and if he doesn't want it, our son, <laughs> if he doesn't want it, then then we'll sell it, but it was eight ninety nine, Which is a really great price for that. Yeah, especially like if there are, if there's anything wrong with it, you can send it back to Patagonia, and they'll fix it. Oh. They'll nice. like repair any any damage on it, or maybe even give you replacement value. I don't know if they replace it, but they probably fix it. Yeah. Because okay. people would wear their stuff out. Yeah. Um, I picked up a couple things. This was a kind of a whim. I've been picking up sports stuff lately, and I pick up a lot of uh, soccer jerseys. Have been doing really good for me. But then I picked up this uh, hockey jersey. And it's the Bruins, but it's not a Bruin that I'm familiar with. Uh, and then it has a McCoy on the back with a six. This might be not the Bruins, but it might be like a, a minor league. Again, I don't know hockey, but it does have a uh, Pro Joy sportswear tag, which is vintage. And it's made in Canada. Uh, so I'm assuming this is from either the 80s or 90s, just from the tag, how it looks and everything. Uh, but this would be like a practice jersey because it's got the holes in it. So I got that. Oh, that was um, $3.99. So as a gamble, that's not too bad. Uh, and then I got this sports thing. Now this one I do know. I got a Cubs jersey. And it's a real Cubs jersey. I mean, not an actual uh, player, player, worn. player worn, but it's from Majestic, uh, and it's uh, it's not just a shirt. It's an actual jersey, uh, and you can see it's from Majestic, made in Korea, size medium. So I know if it's made in Korea, it's older. And I looked up this player because I wasn't familiar with the player, and he played. Uh, I believe in the uh, late 70s and 80s for the Cubs, I think. I'll have to double check on that. Uh, so I know it's older. I don't know if it's that old. It could be, who knows. Uh, but that was five ninety nine. So we'll see what that goes for, because I know there's a lot of Cubby fans out there. All right, so this dress, Derek found this dress. I found dress. it for her. He found it. He's like, you might want this. So we have this real pretty white dress with this real nice embellishment here like ribbons and it is Bowden smaller size it's only a two but it was $5.99 which is a decent price so I could I'm sure I could get somewhere in the $20 range for that one mm -hmm. and then this one is vintage LL Bean just a nice thick knit wool sweater and they go like i looked them up and some of them they, they, i might get like 40 for this L old oil is that a usa llb i think so no hong kong well still hong kong though because hong kong did all the higher end knitting uh pretty much for all, everybody back in the 80s um there was like three places you would either get a usa one you do the Hong Kong, which did a lot of the high-end clothing, and then uh, for sweaters, and then you could also go to get uh, like Scotland, England, UK, 
Ireland, that area. They did a lot of sweaters like that. Plus, you can get all the Norwegian and Danish sweaters, but those are very specific looking sweaters, um, and you all know what that looks like. So, uh, it was five ninety nine. Yeah, you should get close to forty for that. Yeah, it's a nice uh-huh. color. It doesn't, right. and it doesn't Black look aged white. too. It doesn't look like it's from the seventies or right. something like that. And then last thing I got. Second to oh, last. Oh, second to last, because <laughs> we have the tote. Free people, just a nice free people cropped sweater, big size. It's a large, and this one was five ninety nine. I've noticed five ninety nine seems to be their magic price lately. Like everything is like right. five ninety nine. So last, Nikki is talking to us. Mm-hmm. The last thing I picked up is this Lily Pulitzer tote. It's got, is that fish? Yeah, like fish on it. And this is new with tag. This is the market carry-all bag. And I paid $7.99 for this. And I saw someone is asking 50 something for this. And someone else was asking 35. So even if I price it like at 30, I still make a you make a yeah. I make a profit. So it's huge. It's a big bag. I kinda like it to hold all of our Goodwill the rift finds. We should just go to yeah. IKEA and get yeah. one of those big giant right, bags right, for right. 299. Uh yeah. So I think right. that's everything, right? That's everything we got today. That was our haul. That was our haul. For today. And we have no idea what we're going to make on it yet. Uh, and really haven't sold anything since the last video to let you know of what we have sold since. We have posted everything, but that was yesterday. Yeah. Was it yesterday? Yeah, I yeah. think so. Yesterday we got everything posted. Yeah. Well, our video came out today. Right. We had a video come out today. If you haven't seen it yet, it was our road trip video. So. To Fort Collins. Yes. So, yeah. So, so I think we maybe we might try to do like two videos a week now. Or whatever. Or whatever, maybe more. What I the mean mood we thrift all the time. So if we get a good haul, we'll you'll 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 yeah. see us here. Because we don't always. Yeah. Yeah, we don't. Sometimes this is it's, kind of, well, I don't know. Lately I feel like we've been spending close to a hundred dollars every trip. It seems that way. Um but I think it's probably just because of the holidays. Everyone's getting rid of stuff, so there's new stuff there out, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Hey, we're flannel twins today. We are. We were sweater twins yesterday. <laughs> yeah, we were <laughs> the last one we were sweater twins. Today we're flannel twins. So all right, well that's it, right? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Well thanks for watching. Yes. Uh please subscribe. Yes. Uh, and um hit the like button if you enjoy this and leave us a comment. Sure. Yeah. We will respond. Yes. And we will see you on the next one. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye.